Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. Okay, so we're told here that in a certain county, 89% of the voters are in favor of an upcoming school initiative. And then we're asked if nine of the voters are interviewed, what is the probability that exactly five of them will favor the initiative? Okay, well, let's break this down. We've got P, that's the probability that they favor the initiative, that's 89%. This is the probability of favoring. So the probability of not favoring is 1 minus that, which is 11%. This is not favoring. And then we're told that nine voters are asked. So, and exactly five of them favor the initiative. So you can imagine you ask uh, nine people. One, two, three, four, five. They all favor it. And the other four, one, two, three, four, out of these nine people, the other four don't favor it. And that, that probability, to get five in a row of favor, people who favor it, that would be, I'll write it right here, 0.895 times, which is to the fifth, times not favoring it four times, which is 0.11 to the fourth. But that's just one order. Out of the nine people, what if I asked the first three, they, they said, yeah, I want to vote for it, then two say they're not, then the next two say they will, and then the last two say they won't, and so on and so forth. We could find lots of different ways to do this. And that's where the combination comes into effect, right? We can actually write that down as a combination of nine choose five. And what that counts are all the different um, groups or, or ways that I can find five voters in favor. For example, in the first one, I, it's, I'm, I'm finding five in the first five picks. Then I'm finding five in the first three, and then four or five, then the sixth and seventh pick. All those different groups of of orders I can pick them in are the different combinations I'm looking at, which might sound counterintuitive. You might think order and permutation, but here we're picking groups of the orders that we can pick them in. Does that make sense? Uh, let me show you here. Like one, two, three. This is the fourth. This is the fifth, sixth, and seventh, and eighth and ninth. So in this particular situation, uh, I have a success one, two, three, and then six and seven. So the numbers I'm picking are one, two, three, six, seven. That's the only way I could do that. That's a combination. The combination would ignore if I had, uh, like, let's say, swap these two around right here. And the, the actual numbers, one, two, three, six, seven, in my mind, are the spots in which we get a success is what we're actually grouping here. So we're not, the order in which we get them, you might think, okay, it's a permutation, but really we're picking groups of ways to get those voters. I don't know if I'm talking to myself in a circle. So if I am sorry, let me know. I can try to come up with a better way of explaining that. But this right here is a binomial PDF. It's a, the probability, uh, the binomial probability distribution function. And you can do the combination, which would be 9 factorial over 5 and 4 factorial. Or you can enter it directly. Most calculators have some kind of shortcut. And mine's not working right now. Uh, sorry about that. So here, I can just tell you what I'm entering. I entered in uh, second variables and then uh, alpha A, that's the binomial PDF. Nine trials, nine people I'm picking. The P value, it's always success, 0.89, and it's happening five times. And then I hit enter again, and I get an answer. 0 0.01030, so on and so forth. They want this to the nearest 10,000. So 0.0103 is our answer. All right, hope that helps.